Hey guys, I'm Tom. Um, tonight, I just want to introduce to those of you unfamiliar, um, there's a new app by Medit called Medit Splint, and there's about to be a new updated version released tomorrow um, that has fixed a couple of the initial issues. So Medit Link is a free set of apps um, originally designed to be used by with their scanners, um, but you don't actually have to have a Medit. Uh, you can use uh, exported STL files. Um, it's completely free to use and um, export. They will allow you to have up to one gigabyte of online storage of output files. Any more than that, they'll charge you a dollar a month for 10 terabytes of online storage. Seems reasonable. So, I mean, um, I think this is a pretty significant release um, given uh, how easy it is to use and potentially is one of the only AI design softwares that actually uh, work in our hands. So let me show you what it looks like to start a new case. Um, we will register only and not scan. We will import um, locally exported files. In this case, it came from my... Uh, came from my Trios in a PLY format. You attach to the case. This is myself. I've scanned myself uh, upper and lower arches in about four millimeters of open bite. And in the four mil open bite uh, that's built into the scan by Rego, um, the software will design a splint. So I want the splint to go on the Magzilla. Want AI to do it. One button um, has created me a splint that I found today to actually work perfectly. So let me just run you through what that um, process looks like. One button, you will see in a second the upper and lower arches are separated uh, in the byte registration, and that is by design. Um, now it'll allow the software to take up that space and create that AI splint. Um, yeah, look, no one likes to wait for software to think, but if the software is doing your work for you, then great. So that's the byte registration, and this is the actual splint that's been made by the software. So what I found was one click, go to print, and that is... Um, that's that actually works. So the parameters that's been changed, in, you'll be able to go back and manually change it. It stays on the one that you use uh, most recently, everything down to zero and you have the retention at 0 0.5. So tomorrow's software release, you'll be able to go up to 1.0, but I found 0 0.5 to work really well. I'm printing on an Accurate Soul uh, Keystone key splint soft. Um, you can add a label if you like. Um, then you're done. So reasonably straightforward. Our staff can drive. There's not a problem at all. The Medit software is quite intuitive, uh, really predictable. Not much can go wrong. You can change all the little bits and pieces in uh, internal fitting parameter, the exterior uh, byte, um, but the AI one click gives you something that's pretty usable. Another good thing about Medit Link is all the different integrations to your uh, printers. So from here, one button, it'll take me into my Accurator um, software. You'll see all the files get loaded in, including the scan of the upper and lower arches. You just delete the ones you don't need uh, and the one remains with the one that you want to print. Um, this software has built-in AI as well. You click on Splint. It'll generate the uh, supports for you, um, and away you go. So um, that's the splint. 
So what I found was throughout that process, it gave me something really usable uh, and something that you'll see fits in quite well. This is me sticking the splint in my mouth. It clicks in, uh, fits beautifully, um, and just the right amount of retention. So hopefully that helps. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. Um, I've trialed and tested a few different uh, beta versions of that software and, and the one that's about to release tomorrow. Uh, I've been working with a guy at Medit. Uh, I've been talking to a guy at Medit. His uh, name is Mr. Kim. You won't believe it. He's a product manager. He's about to release the next version and I believe it's going to be a really nice piece of software to use. And best of all, it's free. So yeah, uh, hopefully that, that helped and uh, speak to you all soon.